All right, we have more Pinpoint Weather Team coverage for you of the frigid conditions and how the weather is going to impact some COVID testing sites in southern New England today. So some places moving locations, others just canceling appointments altogether today. And Kayla Fish is joining us live with a closer look at some of those changes. Kayla? Hey, good morning, Danielle and Patrick. Well, Rhode Island health officials tell us they've moved a handful of state run testing sites indoors in order to prevent people from standing outside and waiting in the cold. Now, starting today, the testing site at the Rhode Island Convention Center will be moving temporarily inside the Dunkin Donuts Center. Other sites in Central Falls, Cumberland and Pawtucket have also moved indoors, and you can also get tested inside at the recently opened site at the Elks Lodge in Woonsocket. Governor McKee spoke to us about the winter testing adjustments last week. It's unacceptable to me right now this time of the year to have people outside in the line. And so we're going to continue to bring that inside and we're going to continue to add uh, more and more capacity to meet the demand on the short term, which um, will probably subside once the once the infection rates go down. Now over in New Bedford, city officials tell us the state run testing sites will be closed altogether today in order to uh, prevent people from having to wait outside and due to the weather and anyone who had an appointment at any of those sites today will be contacted and that appointment would be rescheduled. You also need to make an appointment if you'd like to get tested at a handful of the sites, the majority of them here in Rhode Island. You can do that by visiting portal.ri.gov. We also have all of this information for you right now on our website, WPRI.com. We're live in East Providence this morning. I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.